The Inter-American Commission on Human Rights has demanded the lifting of U.S. sanctions against the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. The autonomous OAS agency's demand was made through a report issued on Thursday, three years after the United Nations rapporteur Elena Dohan had warned that the sanctions had no normative basis in international law and had worsened the situation of vulnerable people in the Latin American nation. According to the president of the Venezuelan parliament, Jorge Rodriguez, from 2015 to 2023, 962 sanctions of various kinds were imposed by the U.S. government on the Bolivarian nation. Venezuela left the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights three years ago. In Venezuela, the United Socialist Party mobilized in rejection of the United States criminal sanctions and in support of President Nicolás Maduro in the state of Portuguesa. The first vice president of the United Socialist Party of Venezuela, Diosdado Cabello, joined the mobilizations this Friday. Hundreds of people rallied and marched through the municipality to show their support for the Bolivarian government. The party's youth commission pointed out that they will continue with the legacy of President Hugo Chavez. Likewise, the social organizations of the Popular Power and Communes confirm that they will participate in the upcoming presidential elections of July 28th. On July the 28th, this organized people, the people of Portuguesa, the people of Turin, the people of Venezuela are going to give them a new lesson, a lesson of popular victory. That is why we listen. We listen to Ali Primera when he says, I'm not staying home because to the comeback I go. Every day the enemy is the same. Imperialism, lackeys, the desire of imperialism to take over. All of our wealth, and we are also the same, but we have learned. We have learned during these long struggles. During these long days, we have learned to fight, to resist, and to overcome. Chavez taught us to fight, to resist, and to overcome.